I was fascinated to see such passion and conviction for social justice. I would, then my colleague Cesar and I were moved when Lori then proposed that we should revive the Mario Savio Speaker's Corner. One of the little things that Mario Savio inspired was um, to be courageous, um, speaking the truth when necessary, but also be prudent and stay silent when necessary. Mario came to Sonoma State University to teach. During his six years here, he taught mostly developmental mathematics in the Intensive Learning Experience Program, which was an academic program to support students who were underprepared in math and English. And that was where I had the privilege to teach alongside of him. Well, the time a young freshman came into his class and said, Mr. Savio, guess what? I'm studying social justice movements in a class. And did you know that there was a leader of the free speech movement who had the same name as you? <laughs> I imagine that Mario simply smiled and nodded. I how pleased he would be with the simplicity, tranquility, and beauty of this space. That is why I am so very happy and proud to be here today with all of you. Oh, change gonna come. Oh, yes it will. Then I go to my brother. And I say, brother, help me please, but he winds up knocking me. We learn first that sometimes you have to take great risks in order to stick by your moral principles. We learn that if people join together, they can affect the decisions that control their lives. Ours was a local and very short struggle, a lot easier than the battles today's students have to fight, but the principle remains the same. You have on this site a beautiful place to exercise your freedom of speech. I hope you will think of Mario Savio and read the words carved here. And I hope you will use this free speech corner often to advocate and organize with dignity and responsibility for the causes that you believe in. When thousands of students left Sonoma State and we began to walk down East Katati Avenue and I had no idea, I knew nothing of Warner Park, there was one person in my ear and said, Andre, turn right, turn left, turn right. And I was like, who is this person in my ear? And we ended up at the mayor's office. And needless to say, that is when the introduction came. And I said, what a pleasure to meet your husband, Mario Savi. Well, many people can be leaders. It takes an extraordinary person to show others how to lead, how to claim their power, and how to own their voice. Mario was one of those extraordinary people. Leaders are not often known for their modesty, yet Mario was intensely humble and showed us that power was not about ego. Real power was held in one's personal convictions, joined with a moral commitment to others in the society we live in. It's a privilege to speak on behalf of the faculty veterans, Mario's comrades in arms, many of whom are here today to celebrate with all of you the dedication of the Mario Savio Speaker's Corner, a guarantee that this good man's work for our students and for all the people of California will be forever honored on this campus. When great trees fall, rocks on distant hills shudder, lions hunker down in tall grasses, and even elephants lumber after safety. When great trees fall in forests, small things recoil into silence, their senses eroded beyond fear. When great souls die, the air around us becomes light, rare, sterile. We breathe, breathe briefly. Our eyes briefly see a hurtful clarity. Our memory suddenly sharpened examines, gnaws on words unsaid, promised walks never taken. When great souls die and our reality bound to them take leave of us, our souls dependent upon their nurture now shrink, wizened. Our minds formed and informed by the radiance fall away. We are not so much maddened as reduced to the unutterable ignorance of dark, cold caves. And when great souls die, after a period, peace blooms. 
Slowly and always, irregularly, spaces fill with a kind of soothing electric vibrance. Our senses restore, never to be the same, whisper to us, they existed. They existed. We can be. Be and be better, for they existed. <laughs>